All right, guys, we're at the range today with the 586L Comp. It's sporting a new pair of grips, plus we've got it in a Tucker gun leather holster. So we'll be shooting it today. We're using the Sig Sauer Elite Performance 357 Magnum ammunition. It is 125 grain and it's traveling at 1450 feet per second. So it's moving out pretty good. All right, guys, the 586 Elcom. Breda Senior was just having some light primer strike issues on our Sig Sauer Elite Performance ammunition, 357 Magnum ammunition. So we'll see if those problems continue. Um, I took the grips off to see if I could uh, screw the screw in to the leaf spring any tighter and I can't so that doesn't seem to be the problem. So we may end up having to send this back to Smith. We'll see if it continues the problem. So I'm going to go smooth and consistent and slow here. Make sure we don't blow the gun up. Good to see that was seven. I'm not counting, so yeah. Start counting, mister. Yeah, right. Okay. A little bit of single hand. Doing fine so far. It's a little bit more awkward loading a seven shot cylinder with speed loaders. Something I've noticed just now. Well, maybe we're good now. Yeah, we'll see. Got two more rounds here. Ow, it's burning my hand. We appear to be good. Okay. Let's continue testing it. Maybe it just doesn't like me. Go. I thought I was empty. I gotta tell you, it handles this 357 Magnum really well, man. The recoil is not an issue. Feels like you're shooting almost like a 45 1911. My finger is fully depressed on the trigger. I did a straight back trigger pull and it did the same thing. Yep. All right, I say we call it. 
we'll we'll contact Smith and Wesson and send it back. Yep. So both six hour rounds, right? Here's a round that fired correctly. Look at the hit on the primer on that compared to the hit on the primer on this. So guys, we've been shooting pistols on camera for eight years now, and this is the first time we've ever experienced anything like this with Smith & Wesson or anything else. So something's causing it to have a very light hit on the primer, and it caused this round not to go off, along with the two previous rounds, um, if you saw the earlier shooting sessions. So we're done shooting the revolver for right now, and we're gonna send the revolver back to Smith & Wesson, and we'll see how long it takes them to fix it and get it back to us.